Now, coming to this particular question, tell me regarding this that 24 hours after returning from a short trip to Asia, a 35 year old female has sudden onset of massive watery diarrhea that is colorless, odorless, and contains flakes of mucus. Which of the following medias would most likely to be used in isolating this particular organism? Which of the following medias would most likely to be used for isolating? Remember this. Don't get after the answers. The question is regarding the isolating the organism. And the answer is D only guys. Okay. It is D. Why it is D? Because this is the best selective media. This is the best selective media for Vibrio cholerae. Okay. And we are talking about cholera in this particular question. It is this cholera and it is being done by this organism Vibrio cholerae. And the media which is being used for this is TCBS. Thiosulfate, citrate, bile salt, sucrose. And how to remember of this TCBS if you write up like this. It's a culture media, the best selective media of Vibrio cholerae. So how to like answer it up? That TC was given by whom? VC. Okay. TC is being given by whom? VC and uh, as uh, they are telling up in the comment section that VR media is the transport media. Yes, VR media is a transport media along with that what carry player is also a transport media for this and what is the me meaning of transport media which maintains the viability but does not allow the multiplication that is termed as transport media fine that is termed as transport media. So guys let's see this this is TCBS okay this particular one is TCBS and as you can see that one side it is written VC and one side it is written VP what is the meaning of this treatment is like you can use uh, uh, drugs are like basically not of much value here okay but you can use doxy and all along with that the IV fluids that is what is the mainstay of treatment because dehydration happens massive in this it is Vibrio cholerae and it is Vibrio parahemolyticus. Okay, and as you can see the difference between them, the VC have changed the color of TCBS from green to yellow. Okay, so there is a change in the color from green to yellow by the Vibrio cholerae. Why? Because it is a sucrose fermenter. Okay, it's a sucrose fermenter. You know by that mnemonic coins. Okay, it's a coins positive, catalase, oxidase, indole. Nitro reduction test, sucrose lysis test. So, this is coins positive, Vibrio cholerae is coins positive. Vibrio parahemolyticus is non sucrose fermenter. It's a non sucrose fermenter. So, that's why it does not change the color. Okay. It does not change the color. So, this is also needs to know. Vibrio parahemolyticus associates with what? Kanagawa phenomena. It was asked in the recent NB exam. Okay that Vibrio parahemolyticus associates with which phenomena? This associates with Kanagawa phenomena. Okay. And this Kanagawa phenomenon is being observed on which particular agar? Vagatsuma agar. And what is Vagatsuma agar? It's a high salt content agar on which this particular one shows enhanced beta hemolysis. Kanagawa is what? Enhanced beta hemolysis and as Aditi told Vibrio parahemolyticus this particular one is like bipolar it's a bipolar stained organism fine it's a bipolar stained organism and this this particular one is capsulated also and this associates with seafood poisoning okay seafood poisoning and how much percent halophilic it is seven percent halophilic saath samudra par jana seven seas overseas you have to go and there you have eaten of what oysters or crabs and landed with what seafood poisoning and in this lot of questions can come and these are the expected one which we have done that it shows of kanagawa phenomena what is kanagawa phenomena enhanced beta hemolysis on which media vagat sumagar so, what did you do? You sang a song. Where did you sing? Vaga Border. Okay? And how many people went there? How many people went there? 7 Samudra Park. So, it is 7% halophilic and lands up with what? Seafood poisoning. Okay? Eating of what? Oysters and sometimes, yes, crab also. Is it fine, guys? So, remember this particular point 
also in this now tell me some more questions regarding the vibrio vibrio is full of questions that uh, you should know important is what is the motility of it so motility of this is darting as everybody knows darting also termed as shooting star okay also termed as what shooting star so vibrio cholerae is having this particular typical motility that is darting motility which other organism have it compilobacter jejuni and compilobacter jejuni loves to grow at which temperature 42 degree centigrade okay loves to grow at which temperature 42 degree centigrade so this also you need to know another favorite to examiner is becoming is that the cholera toxin works where it works on the tight junctions or zono occludens so guys both are same okay it acts on them and mainly these particular receptors they are involved up gm1 ganglioside receptors and how to remember the gm1 only it is general manager of the company is the number one position so gm1 ganglioside receptors it binds off and it does adp ribosylation of gtp g proteins and these g proteins are which one they are g stimulatory proteins and thereby there is increased the enlilate cyclase activity there is increased the cyclic amp and thereby massive watery diarrhea happens because of the intracellular movement from cell they have moved to the lumen intestinal lumen a massive watery diarrhea happens and it is a non-inflammatory one rice watery which mimics up arsenic metal poisoning okay so these all are very important questions regarding the vibrio which you should know besides that other ones which can come is that oven vibrios okay those particular vibrios which have this oven antigen with them they are of two types one is classical and one is altor okay one is classical and one is altor how to differentiate between them so basically to differentiate between them you go for two testings one is polymyxin antibiotic testing and another one is a phage testing that is termed as mukherjee phage 4 okay mukherjee phage 4 these are there fine so polymyxin test and mukherjee phage 4 these are the two tests which differentiate between classical and altor and both of them they are positive in the case of classical and they are negative in the case of altor okay and altor is a place in saudi near the it was a quarantine station and uh, it was isolated in one of the hajj pilgrimage and uh, this particular altor is a place name from there this particular name have come so polymyxin sensitive is which one classical and mukherjee phage 4 eats away which particular growth the classical growth so these two tests easily differentiate between what classical and altor remember that and further if you want to classify them the zero like uh, seras are available you can divide them into what ogawa inaba hikozima that is classical ogawa classical inaba hikozima and the same is altor ogawa inaba hikozima so that can also be done fine other than that this question can might come that most of the pandemics were done by which one that is the classical one which causes severe infections the classical one which causes like uh, not so severe but it does this particular cholera episodes that is altor which is a more resistant type of thing which which have a chronicity altor is having a chronicity is hard to kill okay but the severe infections are done by what the classical ones in which more water is being lost okay so these are the important ones which you should know okay regarding the vibrio